trying to be helpful with education. So mm-hmm. That doesn't mean they're trying to give anybody a PhD in finance or anything like that, but just to help to understand the basic, the basic reasons for why. The problem is that very often either the employers don't have the bandwidth, have the room in their brain on any given day to listen to the financial advisor that they've hired. Oh, okay? okay. And don't understand the importance of having that person's education be given to the staff. And then the staff don't understand that they should be going to this. All right. So a lot of times, so the way the rules are written, it's a lot of times we're, we're bringing the horse to water, but we can't make it drink. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay. There's a lot of times where things, there are tools available to make the process be a lot more understood. There's a, there's a lot of videos out there. I'm not talking about our own. Uh, different individuals and by some of the larger companies involved in this. Uh, so people have to have had a reason to want to pay attention for at least 10 or 15 seconds. And sure. then once you can get them past that, then you can get them to start paying more attention to what's going to happen um, with their retirement. Down the road. Very, very true. So where do you where do you think right now five years from now your company's going to be at where do you think in the in the job industry he's laughing folks it's, this is audio there's no video, there's no he's, video. Laughing. he's laughing yes. <laughs> well I'm not I'm, I... I mean we're really increasing our technology in order to make things accessible um, and to right size what we do meaning to give the clients like what you say in terms of help people understand what they have, Mm -hmm. make sure that they keep up with what they need to do, that they access the really important stuff. So we're working on things qualitatively, as well as trying to pull in more clients to increase our services we're trying to grow, because within the industry, it is consolidating. It's it's much more, there's players like us that have have a staff of a medium-sized staff that can do a variety of functions. Mm-hmm. It's really hard to just be a, a single person anymore in this industry. So, I mean, we're growing and um, we've we've gained a few more blocks of business, and that's what we plan to do because um, we really feel like we want to push out what we do, and we think we do it well. So, ah. and, and and we're looking to be able to service both. Um, the smaller plans with more technology mm-hmm. that will let us keep our costs down and make things hopefully a little bit easier for them on the smaller side, which, but then from the growth of the business from that, be able to handle larger client, be able to get the staff to handle the larger clients that need uh, and, ex- and expect and want uh, a little bit more personal attention, a little, a bit, little more. bit more of a concierge service, a little bit more of that. Candace, uh, did you hear all this? Because I'm going to file for my retirement soon. Well, I noticed you were taking with. notes, but you should have. I should have, yes. Isn't this being recorded? I think so. It is. Oh, okay. We're more happy to start a plan for you right now. <laughs> I, I, I can go get with, the with, form. This I hate to just say, a, you know, we, we can have we, you we set up with a plan by the end of the podcast. We actually make it really easy. Christopher <laughs> says, yeah, I see. Christopher says, <laughs> things have gone wild. Hold on, folks. Right now, we're showing how responsive we are. Yes, here we are. We only need four things. Yeah. On the name of the company. Right. Uh-huh. Yes. What, what are the four name things of the company? Company. His name. Your mm-hmm. name. All right. Uh, the name of the place where we're going to put the money and his credit card, and we're yeah. done. Yeah. Wow. Oh, see, that's easy. You're already. That's you're already there. Point. That is so easy. So, so really, that is easy. I thought if, it would if you be want a... this to to be a podcast on how to get it done in a short amount of time. We could really have you set up. You can up. come back here in six weeks, and we'll do another one. Sounds good. I look we'll set forward you up to for it. a defined benefit plan. Is that the other one we're going to do? The no, that'll plan? that'll be a That's podcast and a half. Okay, it's a podcast and a half. Okay. But what actually I'm trying to demonstrate is that we understand the industry can seem very complex and very opaque, mm-hmm. but we work really hard to be like, let's get you going. Hey, there's a, f- a, a few data points we can do to really, really get you, you know, get the bicycle going. So, wow. Would, Boy, did I open a can of worms. You didn't expect that answer. No, did I didn't. No, I could have well, you signed up in no see, time. She, I wondered why she came in. Well trained, by the way. She came in with a tablet, a pen. She's ready, you know, to say, have you signed the dotted line before you go. Candace, you've been so quiet. It's been so wonderful. I've Is there something listening. You, you know? It's been interesting, hasn't it? Yes, it has. And, you know, I want to encourage our listeners. So if they want to get a hold of you, uh, how do they do that? I would say the email's best, Catherine T at hunterbenefits.com. 
or call us at 847-776-2125. And our website is hunterbenefits.com. So, I mean, there's whatever. If you're awake at 2 o'clock in, in the morning, <laughs> go to our website and then shoot us an email. Oh. Oh. Or business give hours, us a call and leave us a voicemail. So. Yeah. I think that's awesome. I love the way that you're changing the world by making it more accessible and um, and easier to understand. There's a lot of fear for small businesses because people don't know what they don't know. Right. And so in a saturated market, right, with opinions and judgments and assessments, it's always best for them to do the research themselves. Pick up the phone and give Hunter Benefits a call and enter into that relationship to start the conversation. I want to encourage your listeners to start the conversation. Okay. Um, because in that way they can always make those educated decisions and have a timeline. So thank you so much for being on our show. We, we really love having it. you guys. <laughs> and I'm looking so forward to getting you back on the show and especially getting Bill in a plan. So I think that would work for I, you. I, I had the first plan. This is the first plan. I called up Candace. I said, Candace, <laughs> I know University Place very well. Are they upstairs or downstairs? She says, uh, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I said they're upstairs. Then I said, do they have an elevator or is there stairs? I said, you need to climb now, the I stairs. Now, I got a 15-million-pound <laughs> box here. And so we get here. And, of course, our assistant across the table doesn't mention any of this, mind you. So we're looking all over for an elevator. Can't find one. We drug this all the way upstairs. We get to the top, and you know what we see? The elevator. A oh, sign right. that says elevator, right. yes. So okay. thank you so much, Ken. I'm getting you out of the wheelchair, Bill. <laughs> I know. You can thank me later. Okay, you're on. Appreciate very much both being here, and we want to let the audience know that if they have any questions, make sure you get a hold of Hunter Benefits. Or give us a, a, a ring on the phone. You've got Candace's number. She does answer occasionally. Not very often. Or you can get a hold of us at keepasmiling.com. That's K-E-E-B-A smiling.com. Until we see you and get an opportunity to talk with you again, have a great day and keep a smiling. Bye.